Hey yo everyone, welcome back and thanks as always for hanging out. I know we all enjoy a good game at a discount and so I've compiled a list of some of the better deals that you can pick up this weekend on the Nintendo eShop. All of the games are at an all time low and under $5 and we have a couple of giveaway winners to announce as well. Then after the deals I have a special video clip I want to share with you all from one of our dear friends and fellow content creators so you want to stick around for that. And with all that said, we'll go ahead and dive in. Much love to the crew, stay safe out there, and please enjoy the video. Alright, I'm going to start with RFL The Enhanced Edition, which is a single player top down RPG with a 16 bit retro feel to it. It features a massive open world full of dangerous enemies and fun puzzles for players to solve. The download comes in at about 1 gig, and you can expect roughly 20 hours of gameplay from the pickup. The Enhanced Edition brings a ton of upgrades to the gameplay and combat. And right now you can pick it up for just $4.49, marked down to an all-time low, and the deal ends on the 18. Atomicrops is a single-player action-adventure title with a download around 1.9 gigs, and the main story again can last more than 20 hours to finish up. Now this is kind of a mashup, it's a roguelike and a farming sim at the same time. Basically you have to grow crops and feed your local townsfolk while defending the town from creatures and other bad guys that come out at night. The more relationships you build, the more help you'll have and it will definitely be needed. It's a really cool and unique game and right now it's on sale for just $374 with the deal ending on the 26th. Up next we have Blossom Tales The Sleeping King which is a Zelda-like single player top down adventure title with a download around 440 megabytes and a story that will last about 10 to 12 hours to wrap up. The world is large and explorable, the dungeons and combat feel a lot like you would expect with familiar looking locations and recognizable gadgets and the game realizes that so it doesn't take itself too seriously. It has a gorgeous and colorful presentation with music that fits perfectly for the genre and right now you can pick it up for just $374, marked down again to an all-time low with the deal ending on the 4th of next month. Next we have Crypt of the Necrodancer the Nintendo Switch Edition which is a rhythm based dungeon crawler that offers local co-op for 2 players and has a download around 1.8 gigs. It should give you more than 25 hours of gameplay on average. Now this is a tough game where you have to move to the beat of the background music and time your attacks to the patterns of the different enemies at the same time. It's a really complex game and surprisingly addictive but it can be a rage quitter so keep that in mind. Right now it's on sale for just $3.99 with a discount of 80% and the deal ends on the 22nd. Curious Expedition is a single player top down roguelike set in the 1800s. It offers almost unlimited replay value and the download comes in just under 500 megabytes. The maps are incredibly detailed and offer a wide variety of environments, plus they're procedurally generated, so each playthrough will alter a bit from the last. You'll be playing as a party searching for loot and the fame that comes with it. Now the game can be quite challenging at times, and if you're a fan of historical events, this will be a great pickup for you. Right now you can pick it up for just $2.99, marked down to an all-time low, and the deal ends on the 27th. Up next we have Earth Atlantis which is a single player metroidvania with a unique art style and in this one you'll get about 3-4 to four hours of gameplay. The download comes in just under 700 megabytes. Now you'll have to hunt down monster machines that resemble different aquatic animals in order to save the human race from going extinct. It's a tougher game so be prepared for that but if you're interested in picking it up right now Earth Atlantis is on sale at an all time low marked down to just $1.99 with the deal ending on the 29th. Eldest Souls is a single player Souls like here on the console. It has a download around 1.5 gigs and offers between 5 and 10 hours of gameplay, but you also get the depths of the Forgotten Expansion Pack for free as well. Now, this is basically a Boss Rush style game. They do give you the option to customize your build to suit your style of gameplay, and you gain new abilities with each boss that you defeat. The game can be incredibly tough. And it is a true hidden gem in my opinion. Right now you can pick it up for just $4.99, marked down to an all-time low, with the deal ending in a couple days on the 18th. Far Lone Sales is a single-player puzzle-style adventure game that offers about 3-6 to six hours of gameplay. You're tasked with moving your ship through this deserted world. Along the way you'll have to manage different sections of the vessel in order to keep it moving, while also protecting it from taking damage. 
as you'll reach different obstacles or hurdles that will be blocking your path. It's kind of hard to explain unless you're playing, but it is a really cool game. And there is a sequel as well if you enjoy this one. Right now the first one is marked down to an all-time low at just 209, and the deal ends on the 29th. You'll need a little under 2.5 gigs for the install. Graveyard Keeper is a single player simulation style RPG. It's similar to something like Stardew Valley, only this time around it's a bit darker of a game and has us managing a cemetery and making moral choices as we play through. Now of course you do have resource management and there's a complex building system and they do give you a good amount of different dungeons that you can explore as well. The retro look and amazing soundtrack set the game apart in an overly crowded genre and right now you can pick it up at an all time low marked down to just $4.99 with the deal ending on the 28th. The download is just under 1 gig and you can expect dozens of hours of gameplay from the pickup. There is an ultimate collector's edition available for $9.99 as well. Next we have Guacamelee 2 which is a really fun metroidvania here on the console. It features 4 player local co-op and gives us more than 10 hours of gameplay with a download just over 2 gigs. Now once again we have a huge handcrafted world to explore and it's based on Mexican folklore. The game expands on the original in almost every way with new locations and enemy types, a new upgrade system, and an amazing all original soundtrack. Right now you can pick up the base game for just $4.99 or you can go with the complete edition which adds in new areas and playable characters. That version will cost a bit more at just $5.64. Both deals end on the 18th. Itora is a 2D platformer for one player. The game offers roughly 8 to 10 hours of story and follows our main character through a gorgeous world in which we're the last remaining human alive. The world itself is full of strange creatures and to make things worse there's a plague that is infecting everything and so we have to try to find a way to put an end to it. Now the combat and puzzles are pretty simplistic overall but the game is really enjoyable and would be great for newcomers or those that are a little bit less experienced with this type of game. Right now you can pick it up at an all-time low marked down to just $4.99. The deal ends on the 29th and you'll need about 6 gigs for the download. Next we have the Lacuna and Encodia bundle which is a package that includes two great point and click adventure games that should offer more than 10 hours of combined gameplay with the download around 6.5 gigs. In Lacuna we play as a detective trying to solve a murder case with political consequences and with Encodia, we play as a young girl accompanied by her guardian robot named Sam as they try to survive the harsh streets in a city in the distant future. Both games are a lot of fun and great for fans of the genre, and right now you can pick up the bundle for just $4.49. It's marked down to an all-time low, and the deal ends again on the 29th. Loud by Road to Fame is a single-player arcade-style rhythm game here on the console. It features an all-original soundtrack with more than 20 songs for us to enjoy, and the story is relatable as it follows a young teenage girl struggling to cope with things as she grows up. Now there are some cosmetic upgrades that you can unlock, and so you do have a good bit of replay value here as you'll have to master the different songs in order to unlock all of them. It's a fun little game with a short and sweet story, and right now you can pick it up at an all-time low, marked down to just $1.99, with the deal ending on the 29th, the download comes in at about 700 megabytes. Millie and Greg is a single player puzzle platformer that revolves around a young girl and her missing cat. It has a download around 270 megabytes and should take maybe 3 to 5 hours to wrap up. Now each level is a single screen and there are even a few secrets that you can uncover. The idea is to find your missing cat in each level and then move on to the next. The challenge comes from collecting the optional items in each stage and of course making it through. Right now it's on sale for just $1.99, marked down to half price and the deal ends on the 22nd. Moonrise Fall is a single player explorative adventure game. The story is pretty heavy with this one and for the most part it's about solving puzzles and piecing together the reason you found yourself trapped in this mysterious forest. Now the only things that you have to help out are your camera, journal, and your lantern. Of course you'll find yourself referencing that journal often as you work through the different puzzles and they can be pretty challenging so the game won't be for everyone. Right now though you can pick it up at an all time low, marked down to just $2.49, you'll need about half a gig for the install and the deal ends on the 26th. 
Next, we have Oceanhorn Monster of Uncharted Seas, which is a single-player action-adventure title that looks and plays very similarly to the older Zelda games from the N64 or GameCube days. Now, this one has a download just under 500 megabytes and a story that will last about 10 to 12 hours to wrap up. There are, of course, environmental puzzles to solve, new items and gadgets that you can find, and the combat feels just like those older Zelda games that I mentioned as well. It runs great here on the console and has an outstanding soundtrack. Right now you can pick it up for just $374, marked down 75% until the 4th of next month. Pit is a 2D puzzle platformer that offers two-player local co-op and gives us about 10 to 12 hours of gameplay. It has a download slightly over 1 gig and features an amazing all-original soundtrack. Now the game can be a little challenging, so keep that in mind if you plan to pick it up. The controls are simple to learn and the visual design fits well here on the console. My only complaint is that it does become a bit repetitive by the end of the game. Still though, at just $1.99, I think it's a steal for what you get, and right now it's on sale at an all-time low, with the deal ending on the 17th. Planet Alpha is another 2D puzzle platformer. It's kind of like Inside or Limbo, and then you have to solve puzzles as you make your way through this world, and everything is deadly, so mistakes are fatal. This time around, the story has more of a sci-fi feel to it, and as the player, you have the ability to control time. You can switch from night to day or vice versa, and this mechanic is used to solve puzzles as you progress through. On top of that, the visuals are truly stunning here on the Switch. Now at $9.99, I probably wouldn't recommend the game, but for just $1.99, I think this is another great value this week. The deal ends on the 20th, and you'll need about 3.5 gigs for the install. Up next, we have Polyroll, which is a single-player action platformer that offers about 5 hours of gameplay and comes in at around 200 megabytes for the download. Now, this one, of course, reminded me a lot of older Sonic games, and with this one, you get more than 35 levels full of collectibles and unique enemies. On top of that, you get more than 10 fun boss battles as well, and if you're a fan of the genre, you should consider picking this one up before the deal ends again on the 20th. Right now, it's marked down to just $1.99 and matching an all-time low. Rico is a first-person roguelike that features online co-op for two people, and again, as I've mentioned before, I have personally played this one online, and it works great here on the Switch. The game has incredible controls and does feature motion controls for aim assistance, which I always appreciate, and it plays a lot like Payday if you remember that game. You'll have a set of missions to complete in each stage, and then you move on, while of course trying not to get shot. If you're interested in this one, it's on sale, again for just $1.99, Marked down 90%, bringing it back to an all-time low, with the deal ending on the 27th. The only thing to keep in mind is that you need nearly 5 gigs for the install, so make sure that you have the space. Shantae Risky's Revenge is an updated version of the original game which was released in 2010. This version includes new game modes, enhanced gameplay, and updated art and animations. Our favorite half-genie hero is back to take on the evil pirates led by Risky Boots. The game allows you to change into different creatures to tackle levels as well, and if you've never played the original, this is a great way to hop into the action for the first time. Right now it's on sale for just $4.99, marked down to half price and the deal ends on the 26th. You'll need a little under 200 megabytes for the install. Some Distant Memory is a single-player narrative-driven adventure game set 300 years after the apocalypse. It offers about 3-4 to four hours of gameplay, with a download around two and a half gigs. Now this one covers some pretty heavy topics, and due to the short run time, it's easy to pick up and finish in about one or two sessions. It's more about exploring and discovery than anything else, so just be prepared for that going in. Right now it's on sale for just 324. It's marked down to an all-time low, with the deal ending on the 25th. Speedrunners is a multiplayer platform racing game where you can take on three opponents which can either be bots or friends and you can play with friends locally or online. Now while racing the outside of the screen is constantly shrinking and so you're kind of on a timer and you don't want to be caught in last place as it's basically a knockout system where the last place person is eliminated and then it goes one by one until there's only one player left. In addition to the timer, you also have a bunch of cool weapons and gadgets that you can use during each race, and it's a ton of fun with friends. Right now you can pick it up for just $374, marked down to an all-time low, with the deal ending on the 28th, and the download is a little over 600 megabytes. 
Next, we have SteamWorld Dig, which is a single player action platformer with a small download around 130 megabytes, and it offers about six to eight hours of gameplay on average. Now, this is a fun game that plays out a lot like a Metroidvania, and rather than making your way through the standard platforming, this game kind of has you digging underground, searching for riches and hidden secrets, and of course taking on any enemies that you find along the way. If you haven't played this one, it's a must buy in my opinion. Right now it's on sale for just $1.99, marked down 80% and matching an all-time low until the 27th. Strikey Sisters is a Brick Breaker style game with a small download under 200 megabytes and the main story will take roughly 5-10 to 10 hours to wrap up. On top of that, again it has local co-op for 2 players and it can get a bit hectic, but it's also another game that's even more fun if you do have someone to play with. Once again, the game has a great soundtrack and the story is comedic with ultra cheesy dialogue that's done on purpose. There are even boss battles which were pretty cool and right now you can pick up this gem for just $2.99 Marked down 70% and matching an all-time low until the 28th. The Company Man is a single-player action platformer with a unique theme where everything is based around office work. Your main weapon is your keyboard, and you heal at the coffee station. The levels are based on different places you'd find at work, and it gives us about 5-7 to seven hours of gameplay, with a download just over 1 gig. It also has a few difficulty settings, making it accessible to more players. And right now it's on sale for just $4.99, marked down to an all-time low with the deal ending on the 2nd of next month. Until the Last Bullet is a newer game here on the Switch. It's an arcade-style shooter that offers two-player local co-op and comes with a download around 2.5 gigs. The graphical style of the game is unique, as is the presentation. It features full motion video between the levels, and it's basically an on-rail shooter that takes us through an abandoned factory during a zombie outbreak. This is another game I was able to play when it first came out, and I did have a lot of fun with it. If you're interested, it's on sale right now at an all-time low. Mark down half price to just $4.99, and the deal ends on the 28th. Up next, we have What Remains of Edith Finch, which is a collection of single-player adventures that in total will take roughly 3-4 to four hours to wrap up. It's a series of strange tales about a family in Washington State, where players take on the role of Edith and have to explore the massive Finch house, trying to uncover the mystery of her family's history and why she's the last one alive. Now this is more of an experience than a game so to speak, and can really create the feeling of being transported into the pages of a really emotional book. The game is more about atmosphere and the feeling that you get from being in this house and learning all of the stories while being isolated. Make sure you know what type of game you're getting here, but if you're interested, right now it's on sale for just $4.99, marked down to an all-time low, and the deal ends on the 18th. Alright, and we saved the best for last. Ukulele in the Impossible Lair is a single-player 2D platformer with a download around 4.8 gigs. This is the second game in the series and gives us more than 10 hours of fun gameplay. Now to me, this is one of the best 2D platformers here on the console. There are a ton of collectibles, and each stage has two different variants, and then of course the way it ties into the overworld was really cool too. The game lets you take on the final level right away if you would like, but obviously it's incredibly tough, so don't worry if you die, just collect your shield bees and come back when you're ready. Right now it's on sale for just $2.99, marked down 90% and matching an all-time low, with the deal ending on the 20th. Alright everyone, here are a few other great deals to check out while you're already on the eShop. One would think that almost dying twice would teach you when to quit. What can I say? Seems I'm a slow learner. My, my. You're one tough devil, ain't you, lad?
All right, everyone, it's time for our giveaway finally. We're doing uh, two Nintendo eShop gift cards, $5 a piece. This is from a couple of videos ago. All you had to do to enter was just drop a comment on that video. Thanks to everybody who did so. Good luck to you all. Let's see who wins. Rap, congrats, buddy. Congrats, man. Thanks, buddy. And for our second winner. Raven, all right. Congrats, Raven. Thank you, buddy. Both of you just reached out to me through email. I'll have it linked down below in the description. Once again, thank you to everybody that participated. We'll do another one again real soon. So stay tuned for that. All right, and at the beginning of the video, as I mentioned, I have a special clip that I want to show you. This one is from our buddy Snowly over at Snowly Games. He made a top 10 video of on rails or gallery shooters here on the Switch, and I think you'll enjoy checking it out. What I'll do is I'll show the first minute here, and if you'd like to finish watching the video, just head on over to his channel, which I'll have linked down below, and check out the rest. Hey there, how's it going? Z-Man the Tech here, and I want to thank you for tuning into Snowly Games. As always, I appreciate you very much. Today, I'm going to share with you my top 10 on rail slash gallery shooter games on Nintendo Switch. Without much further ado, let's get it in. Number 10 on my list is Dead Z Meat, which is a gory gallery shooter where you shoot goofy looking zombies with comically large heads on a multi-level basis. As you progress, you earn gold that you can use to upgrade your weapons, and as you play through the various levels, you'll unlock stronger weapons and explosives too. The levels do change up a bit from being the standard gallery to sniper levels where you'll be shooting from rooftops and you'll really have to work on accuracy due to having to reload more slowly and more often. Also, within levels are random power-ups that you can activate by shooting them, and they range from health gains to explosions that take out surrounding zombies. This is a single Joy-Con gyro-only controlled game, so keep that in mind. If you're interested in this game, it nor- Alright everyone, thank you all for watching and hanging out. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe if this was your first time here. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.